Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is going to be another raid Shadow Legends video. We have got a treat today. Um, I've had Cupida sitting in my vault for a long time. Um, <laughs> and we're going to do a guide on Cupidus, but even better than that, we're going to do a dual guide because I've got Venus as well. I got her about a week ago. I've got her leveled. These two go together perfectly. So I've had Cupidus for a while. Somebody in my Twitch. Um, redeemed some of their channel points and they said with those channel points I want you to do a guide on Cupidus um, and I thought you know what is worth a look and then when I pulled Venus as well it was like perfect we can do them together so Cupidus then let's have a look for his kits he's got an A1 attacks all enemies damage increases by 15% if the target's got any debuffs any debuffs 15% direct more damage it's like having a built-in weaken into your kit um we've got a triple hit on his a2 each hit booked out 75 percent chance of placing hp burn um i don't love this at random thing but i guess for spiders it's pretty cool and then we've got an a3 which places increased attack buff on this champion for two turns then attacks one enemy if he kills that enemy he spreads an irresistible hp burn everywhere so immediately you think crazy spider champ um good affinity for spider as well you think um good dungeon carry good campaign farmer um probably got some sort of clan boss utility but i think that's not his best spot um but all in all kind of just he should be the out and out damage dealer he's got a little thrust in motion going on here i love it um, <laughs> so what have i done then i've given him all out damage masteries basically i've gone for like an arena stroke dungeon damage build um just to see what we can get him to do so we've gone basically into helm smasher but i've gone for this kind of this is what i use for my general arena nuka comp and then we come down here to get a counter attack in case somebody stays alive after the first hit so this is the general masteries i've gone for the important ones here for me are ruthless ambush eight percent damage on his first hits um more damage when he's attacking with full health uh not that one and helm smasher really that's kind of the important ones on that side for me and then the important ones here are these two bottom ones chance to counter attack uh, i've put him in savage gear so i'm going for high level gear but you can use the same type of thinking to set up your own one so what have i gone for i've pushed out 100 percent crit rate pretty good crit damage not insane but pretty good 181 speed is enough 5k attack uh, so i've kind of just pushed for attack attack crit damage attack speed uh, and then we've done crit damage with speed and crits attack percentage speed and crit i've done attack percentage speed and crit here this is kind of um just so i can push as much damage as i can normally you'd probably have speed boots here um and then we've done speed crit speed crit speed crit basically i'm trying to speed him up and make sure he crits simple as that and when he crits i want it to be a hard crit so that's my cupidus build um i've i've used him before on a couple of takeovers i think he's he's kind of like decent mid-tier but not insane but we shall see um i've then built out a venus so venus i've gone for more like a clan boss uh straight utility build so we've gone down into war master uh in a normal kind of clan boss setup i've gone for the accuracy tree uh, i've gone for sniper to improve the chances of landing the poison on the a1 and then for hexa to increase the chances um so she has got a poison on her a1 she basically does every debuff in the game that's worth doing she's got poison on her a1 two hit each hit's got a 50 percent chance of placing that poison so 55 with the sniper debuff that's why i've taken that uh, she's got decreased defense and weaken aoe she's void so she cannot be um you can't get a weak hit with this it it does damage and it throws out these two debuffs as long as you've got enough accuracy it will land on every single mob you ever face in the game nobody can resist uh, nobody can not take this if your accuracy is high enough she's then got an hp burn on a a3 which is a bit funny to me so she's meant to synergize with cupidus cupidus does the hp burn she's doing the hp burn it's like pff, make up your minds guys who's going to do it um lovers quarrel over this one but yeah pretty cool still very cool i mean anyone who does an hp burn aoe 
as a void champion you're like you know it's insane spider champ insane um and then she benefits from being on cupidus team by having this extra move removes all buffs from all enemies 50 percent chance of gaining an extra turn all i'd say is i wish this was 100 percent if it's a 100% chance, then she can do this into this uh, and then set Cupidus up. But basically, Cupidus needs debuffs, so this has to happen. So she can't really risk doing this before this, to, to, before Cupidus has a go. So I don't know. It's, it's kind of cool. It's kind of a cool uh, setup, but not like mental. His, his kind of extra ability is inflicts 25% more damage under debuffs when Venus is out there. So. This is actually very cool. You think you've got 25% extra damage here. You've got 15% extra damage here. So he's getting a straight 40% damage increase um, on his A1 when Venus is around, which is pretty mad. Um, Venus, I think, in terms of where she can play, anywhere in the game. Anywhere in the game. The only thing that lets her down is she's got a lowish base defense, but she's got an insane base speed. Uh, good base other stats obviously crazy crazy debuffs everywhere um i've set her up to have just a load of mishmash deer guys look at this mishmash but we've got good speed good crit good crit damage high accuracy um and we've gone here again crit damage on the gloves attack percentage speed uh, i've gone attack crit damage and accuracy uh, and then i was just looking for speed crit and accuracy on pieces together speed crit accuracy Speed, crit, accuracy. See the way I've done that? So I'm, I'm trying to pump the three main stats that I want to pump in a build. So let's get into show them off, I guess. So we're going to start off. It's a shame. I bet Faction Wars is not on the right one. It's not. Um, in Faction Wars together, they will be mental. It's a shame. I, I probably should have shown you on, on that. But let's start off by showing off Cupidus as a campaign farmer. And this is definitely a role that he can do. Um, where is he? Where is he? So it's green affinity here. So it's kind of neutral for him. It's not good. It's not bad. So he comes in and does his A. I think that must have been his A3. So if he just did A1s, I think he nukes the waves the whole time. I think he just nukes the waves with this A1, 65k, yeah. But he's a bit tiresome because he wants to do all the other stuff first. Um, look at that, 82k. Um, HP burns go out, can't be resisted, and then slam. So he's fast, 29 seconds is fast. If I did it on, alt, uh, on manual, and just a one it. Oh, no, no, no. So if you just a one it, Bam. It's a bit like Baron. Baron in this game, just A1 it and you clear really fast. But because on auto, he wants to do all his other fancy stuff first, you end up having a much slower clear time. So it could even be you set up a macro in blue stacks and you just get him doing this. Just, just basically have it click in this spot like this constantly. Constant clicking. And this would be the quicker way for you to do campaign farming. <laughs> um, but anyway, I mean, seven seconds if I'm clicking, 20 odd seconds if I'm not. Um, I guess we could see if, if Venus has got the same sort of ability. I don't think she's really going to be a campaign farmer, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, so we'll see what she does on auto. Auto, she's going to do a AoE nuke. Second AoE. So she's probably actually going to end up being faster on auto than, yeah, she is by quite a way. Faster on auto than Cupidus, even though her kit is not as good as Cupidus for clearing AoEs. So there you go. Both of them can do it um, pretty well. I wonder if Venus in the right setup could actually be a nightmare campaign farmer. Probably not. She does have the decrease defense and weaken. Um, let's just see what she does. I haven't got her in life still gear, so it's probably going to be a hard no. But her kit actually kind of suggests to me that she might be able to do it. Because you put these out there, the decrease defense and weaken. But she's just too weak, I think. Yeah, I don't think. May maybe if I put her in the right setup, it's possible. But compared to like the defensive tank styles, 
who who can do it and easy. Um, she's kind of nowhere near that. So let's get into a couple of things that they have both going to be insane at then. So let's start with some dungeons. Pretty much, you know, Venus is going to be hard carry mode on any dungeon. So if we threw them in like this, so Cupidus is actually the weak affinity here, but Venus obviously can play anywhere. Um, let's just see what we end up doing. So decrease defense and weaken goes out. She didn't land it everywhere, maybe, which is weird. I don't know why that didn't land everywhere. She then puts her HP burn everywhere. Cupidus does more damage when HP burn is out. So he does on his next swing. 30 to 40k across the board. It's good, but it's not bonkers. Actually, maybe we didn't have decreased defense down. Let's just see what we do here. A1, we've got decreased defense and weaken across the board. Let's see what, and, he's, and it's negative affinity for him. Let's see what he does. 60k. Actually, it is good. It's strong. That is strong. Um, and then Venus comes in absolutely clutch on Dragon. So Venus on Dragon will... Um, get all of your debuffs that you need out. She'll get poisons out. She'll get HP burns out. Pretty much bonkers style for Dragon. And it rotates around pretty damn quick as well. But again, some, some people said to me, who's better, Venus or Draco? I think Draco wins and by quite a lot. I think Draco wins by a lot. Draco's damage potential, his um, turn rotation, uh, the poisons, you know, like a almost definite four-piece four poison. Um, I think he wins by quite a lot. So let's check out spiders. Um, I think for spiders, let's just go with... Maybe we go over them one at a time, actually. Let's just see what can be done here. Um, so I'm thinking for less of like a hard carry. Maybe not too much less. But let's just see what he can actually do here in a team that controls the turn meter pretty well. So somebody like a stag knight find him. Stag Knight to drop defense um, and attack and to put decreased speed out there. We're taking a cold heart. We're taking an Armiga. Um, and then I'm going to need somebody to tank it up. I'm trying this. I don't know if it's going to work. All I'm trying to see is how effective is his HP burn if you were doing it on, on his own. So good thing is we get a decrease defense down early. Want to make sure that's your fastest champ. We've got someone in there that's just going to concentrate on keeping turn meter down. We've got somebody in there that's just going to do some AoE healing. Now, for him to make this work, and it's on a four turn cooldown, which is pretty long. He needs to kill something. He needs to kill something. If he kills something, um, there's a 50% chance of... So I need to wait till these are probably a bit lower. Like 50% chance of placing HP burn everywhere um, is not really that high. be interesting to see what he actually does. So his auto, and it's a big hit actually, 130 odd K, his auto goes auto to the spider. So actually the only way you do this with his kits to try and get it everywhere is to take it manually or to click a spider when it's up. So you see here he's on a big old AoE, that's nice. Um, let me try and show you what I, I mean when we get to his turn. Is she going to last? She might be dying actually. She's dying. So we get to his turn, so this is back up. So to place the HP burn everywhere, I basically would, if I did it on auto, I'd have to click a spiderling to generate this. HP burn goes just on a few. So for me, it's it's doable. <laughs> it's doable as a strat, but it's 
not strong as a strat. Um, yeah, that's it's. It will be pretty unreliable. It'll be fine if this is just you trying to get your twenty auto runs done for Spider, and it's the best chance you've got of winning. Then fine, he could be your answer. But he is going to be fiddly at best. Fiddly at best. I mean, he hits hard. A seventy odd k hit is fine, but he is not going to be a sensible answer to a spider problem. Um, I don't even have him properly geared. doesn't really matter. So let's see if she is. I think she probably is the answer. Let's see if she does, does everything we, we want her to do on auto. So we start with drop defense and weaken. Great. Actually don't even need stagnite in that, in that comp in that situation because of, because of her move. So obviously with the weaken up there as well, we're going to do more damage with people like our cold hearts. HP burn is her next move. So she is absolutely perfect. She's the perfect spider champ. You don't get better than Venus for um, maybe with the exception of someone like a tyrant, but she's up there as one of the best. And probably you don't even need to give her as much damage as I've done. So the damage I'm, I've made her do actually has called the spiders to die probably a little bit prematurely. But, you know, she becomes absolutely top-tier spider killer. And obviously she keeps throwing out the AoEs, so you, she's kind of trimming the waves down as well. Um, yeah, she's, she is top-tier. We should just get a Heart Seeker off just to finish the job. There it is. So, yeah, top-tier here. Cupidus, who probably should be better than he is, I, I don't rate him massively in that setup. So that is Spider. I think for something like Finites, um, again, in terms of affinity, they're, they're both strong here. So Venus could definitely come in and be the debuffer. Um, we don't have any sort of turn meter manipulation, though, from Cupidus. He's just damage, just in there for damage. Um, but let's see what we do. So decrease defense and weaken out. Here he comes with that one slam. I mean, he one shot someone in stage 20 combat. One shot in anyone is a big deal. And slamming that wave at 80k. So he can hit hard. He's got pretty good multipliers. He can hit hard. But that's it. I mean, you know, he's not really bringing anything else to the table. But 192. Whew. Sit down, fellas. That is a big old slam right there. That is a big hit. 100k across the board against these liches that have got crazy defense. That's, that's serious damage, actually. Serious damage there. We'll get him in the arena in a minute. That's pretty insane damage, actually. Doesn't have any sort of multi-hits here, though, so he's not going to be kind of crazy on the actual boss. Hopefully we've got enough craziness going on with the rest of the team. 50k there with nothing on it. Pretty good. Here comes the debuffs. So again, we're getting some resists. I need to check that I've got a gear right. I'm pretty sure I had a gear like 300 accuracy and we're still getting quite a few resists in these runs. Which is a bit weird. We did have a multi hit there, did he? Maybe is, is his A2 a multi? Oh! That A3 hits hard. That A3 does hit hard. Oh, it is, yeah. So his A2 is a triple hit. Nice. Okay. So actually, he is pretty solid for Fire Knights then. Um, let me just check what's going on with Venus here. 320 accuracy. Fully booked out. 100% chance to land. It's weird that we've had so many resists. Um, so I think let's get into the main event then. Let's see what the arena offers for these two together. So we're going to go with our speed. I think probably what we're going to do is going to go speed into speed into these two. Because I want to make sure that Jupiter gets his go. Um, so we're going to go speed up into speed up. Going to get a decreased defense and weaken out there. And it's a hit. 
landed everywhere nice um i can either take the one shot but he's already got increased attack on him i think we'll just go with the aoe and see what this does oh 100k that's good that's nice um that's up there with top top damage dealers actually that is good so so this is actually a bit more of a tankier champion in um in the duchess let's go again a1 oh yeah no one's living through that nobody is living through that let's see what sort of damage we get off with his other abilities then So if we were to target, what's she doing here as well? So she's doing 20k across the board, which is not bad at all. Let's see what the triple hit does. Oh. <laughs> it's a lot of damage, guys. He is kicking out some damage. For sure, that is a lot of damage. I've got him in good gear, though, to be fair. But he is kicking out some damage. Um, that's nice. So I'm wondering then if... This is going to be a problem, so I don't have any sort of resistance to that. Um, I'm wondering if in a, like a blender team, he becomes pretty nuts as well. But we're not going to have the debuffs out first. Still worth a look. Still worth a look. So I think if we had something like this, this, then him, then Sinatia. Let's see what this does. So if you don't have a skull crown, you know, it's, this is coming in as the, the kind of first arm to the blender. I think it's going to be pretty strong. So he slaps. Oh, it's big. It's big. He can do that job. He can definitely do that job. For sure he can do that job. I mean, I'm not in plat level play right now. I'm, I'm kind of a, a bit... I've, we've just had a reset, so I would expect to beat teams anyway here, but see these first hits. Oh, for between 30 and 50k with no decreased defense, weaken anything out there. Kind of want to... You would want to try and shoehorn away to get Venus to go first. I think it would be too difficult to do. At 237, I think I'll be way too slow here. You kind of want to see if you could orchestrate a way that Venus goes and then he goes after that, but I think that would be way too hard to do. So I'm just thinking the more debuffs are out there, the more damage he's going to push out. But still, this is, um, yeah, he is a definite arena champ for me. I think that's his best spot, especially with the 3v3s now, need a bit more utility. Oh, he just does a ton of damage. Um, 105k damage there. So he's hitting for like 30 odd Ks without any debuffs on. So I think, um, obviously, look, both champions pretty mental. Um, I'm going to showcase Venus separately in a clan boss setup um, with an unkillable team, probably using Sir Nick as well, later this week. So, guys, let me know in the comment below. Do you want to see some other stuff with these two? Anything else that I've missed that you wanted to see, let me know. Um, I've been Hell Hades. I'll catch you later.